What kind of project can benefit 150 million people, including me? What kind of project can be called a state affair, in the words of President Xi Jinping? Xi Jinping said at the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China that the party has rallied the people and led them in solving a great number of problems that had long gone unsolved, securing many accomplishments that hold major future significance. Among them is China's South to North Water Diversion Project. It is the largest of its kind in the world. For the project's middle route, the main source of water is located in Xichuan County. Today, I've come here with Patrick Nyes. We want to see how the mega project developed from blueprint to fruition. This So we're in the midst of uh, Danjiangko Lake. Let's try some water here. Good idea. Because this water is very good, it can be a level of water, so it can be directly used. Perfectly transparent. Just like any bottled water you can buy in a shop. <laughs> very good. I'm very impressed by the, the scale of this project. The impact on ecology and wildlife and biodiversity must be also uh, extremely uh, big. So how, how, how do you deal with this? When we started the project, we considered the environmental protection. We did a survey of the surrounding area and also the environment that we have in the area to protect our water. The factors surrounding the South to North Water Diversion Project are massive and extremely complex, including a migrant issue that has been described as the hardest problem in the world to solve. In Xichuan, 367,000 people relocated to accommodate the project. How are these villagers living now? Provided by the government. Provided by the government. Okay. <laughs> 你有搞水利的,你有搞生态环境的,你有搞经济的,你有搞移民的 Patrick, 
President Xi Jinping quoted an ancient Chinese saying, Yi ying qi gang wan mu jie zhang, which means uh, once you open the main rope of a net, everything falls into place or you have a big understanding of the whole situation, you have everything under control. How do you understand this saying? Don't use too much energy. Use the energy, apply it on the right way, push the right button, do the, the right, right thing time. at the right time, and then you get the result you want, and the best result you can have. Do you find similar philosophy or is it different? In the West, the competition is everybody wants to be the boss. If you, if you want to achieve something, the most important issue you will have is the competition for leadership by, by everyone. China doesn't work like that. You have a duplication of all these tires with the party. You have cells of the party everywhere, in the civil society, in the economy, and also in the political system, from the local village to the top. They are working in the same direction. This has to be done for the good of the people. They go for it. This is the magic of China. Desde un inicio, las cosas tienen que realizarse de manera correcta y estar bien afianzadas. La tierra es de quien la trabaja, pues, ¿no? Entonces, yo creo que eso hace referencia a un trabajo colectivo, ¿no? Y bien sustentado, con respeto ante todo y bien desarrollado. ¿no? I want to say, did catch my attention is the situation with uh, the COVID handling and how they uh, try to maintain their citizens um, safe with this. Pero eso sí es cierto, es un país que a pesar de todo ello sale adelante, ha sacado millones y millones de chinos de la pobreza y en las últimas décadas eh, ha crecido exponencialmente una barbaridad.